guys welcome to another video and today I'm going to review as you have read it a laminator so what is a laminator what you can use a laminator if it's for office home um, well I consider it both an office must have one of these and a home with kids definitely must have one of these um, if you don't have kids don't worry you can still have one of those and I'm going to show you what to use how to use it hot cold emanation so um, I'm basically going to show you and it's not expensive and it's a practical thing and it can fit anywhere so follow me up and watch the video so basically this is the ultra slim laminator I never thought that a laminator could be so like slim this one only works in A4 and it's 45 millimeters, so very very um, slim and it takes two minutes to warm up uh, just one thing uh, this laminator works uh, with cold or hot um, laminating sheets so it depends on what you have and you can find for me it was a bit of difficult to find the laminator sheets uh, I find them on I found them on Poundland and it was two sheets for one pound if I'm not mistaken. So this one laminates up to 215 micron pouches and it's very slim. It says to the everyday office or everyday house. So here we are. Let me just show you with my hand. This is very very slim. Okay so it's portable and you can put it anywhere uh, just a tiny hole in your in your house so I'm going to show you it has the power and the ready button which I'm going to show you it's the cold and off and hot so you can choose which one you want to work and the A4 sheet so you can um, so you can guide through that so this is the entrance and the exit of the sheet that I'm going to use. So the laminated pouches that I use, that I have bought on Poundland, it's two um, pouches for one pound. So I think it was cheap and I bought already two. Um, and this one is suitable for all, all hot laminating machines. So for this machine it will work both hot and cold. But be careful about that because some of the pouches say cold laminating machines and not every laminating machine is working on cold, okay? Just to let you know. And I'm going to show you how to use it, so just going to show you this. Either than um, in the box of the laminating machine you have a QR code and you can buy it from them. So basically I'm going to show you the pouches here. Going to take one. I already used them. So oh, it's two of them. So I think that these ones are very good. And basically, you just open up. You have two sides. Okay, so they are both equal. There is no up and down side. Well. No, fourth and, and back side. Uh, the up and down, there it is. So this crease here where is where you put first the, um, the page and then you close it. Okay? So I'm going to show you. For example, I'm going to pick up one of these. It's from the CBB's uh, magazine and you will know what it is back then so I'm going to insert the page here just on the beginning of the pouch try to set them with um, a margin that it's similar it's yeah that's it I think yeah Okay, so just close it and that's it. 
So of course, as you can see, the margins are not very good, so you need to uh, put the margins or equal, or later you can cut off the page. So back now to the machine. I'm going to turn it on to the hot, the hot type. And it's part on, as you can see. And now I'm going to wait for the green light to be ready. So normally this machine is very quick. Normally it's two minutes to hot them up, to warm it up. Um, and I'm just going to wait for the ready um, light to be on. Just one thing, if you're doing cold, um, if you're doing cold pouches, you should turn it cold first. Or if you're doing a hot pouch first, and then you need to do a cold pouch uh, after it. Please bear in mind that if you're working with hot, you need to, uh, the machine needs to cool off, okay? So if you're working on hot, just wait a bit until you work on cold or go straightly to cold. Just make sure that you wait for uh, the machine to, um, to be cooler when you're working with cold. So just waiting for the ready. There we have it. So the ready is now on and I'm going to show you what I have, what I've shown you before. I just zoom this out and yeah. So the first thing that you're going to put in the machine is the side that it's not open, okay? So we just put it here and the machine will automatically do his work. Um, just one thing about this machine, this ultra slim laminator. So for what I have been reading, it's very good because it has an anti-jamming rollers. And for what I have been testing, it never jammed. Just make sure that after the, um, the pouch is off the machine, it's hot, of course, because it's a hot elimination. So be careful about it, okay? Yeah, almost finished. And there you go. So I'm going to touch it, yeah. And perfect work. So basically you can do and laminate a bunch of things. So this was the laminating pouches that I have been using and for testing I bought these uh, whiteboard markers so it's clean and it raised safely. I bought an on pound lens this one for one pound. So what I have been doing is that you, for example, this one that we've made, when kids start to writing um, it's always a good thing to incentivate them, okay? So for example, I pick up this page for any... Of course, RJ is not writing yet, but it will be a cool tip. So, for example, when they're trying new letters and new words, you can just write with them, for example, and they can copy, because after it, you just pick like a piece of napkin or anything and just erase it. Cool, right? So, he will have a bunch of things to write on, to read, to um, like draw on it. Uh, for example, this one that we've made before, you can build like a snowman with a bunch of, of white markers uh, and erasable markers, of course. You can build a snowman, as they're supposed to do. I'm not such a snowman <laughs> drawing, but okay. Um, and then erase it or do any other kind of drawing. So it will be clean. 
uh, you can you can draw a bunch of other things like creating um, patterns so on school days on school holidays they can create a bunch of things and for example in my case uh, it was RJ's first week on um, on his nursery so his first newsletter I just use the machine with it so it's it's like a keeper um, a keepsake so you can do a bunch of things uh, you can do also for example um, on cards on doing any, any other thing for your office on university um, diplomas on ID cards whatever you can do you can do it with this machine other than all, this was the first time that I used eliminating machines, so I think it's this one is quite cool. Um, it works on both cold and ho hot, which I didn't thought it was possible to do a cold laminating, and it's it's basically very um, very slim, so it doesn't occupy a lot of space in my house. And I know that I will do a bunch of other projects with them, so you probably will see it on um, on the blog and on the social media as well. So this is it. If you have any questions about laminating, I'm not the expert, but <laughs> I tend to um, see more uh, about what laminators do and what projects I can do with it. Uh, that's why we have Pinterest, right? And if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, please leave me a comment below. Uh, I will try to uh, be my best to answer that, them. And uh, see you next time. If you have any suggestions about laminators, please leave me a comment below as well with links and whatever you wish to say. And I'm going to leave the link uh, of this laminator and the names of the pouches and the, where did I get them, okay? So thank you for watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I can continue to make more videos this 2017 and see you next time!